All right, hey class, hope the debate went well. Um, I'm sure it did. I could tell that you guys were doing a good job preparing when I listened to what you were preparing. So I want to tell you what I think, and this is just like my opinion um, based off of what I've read and heard. Um, what do I think? Uh, I think I think that the the obvious losers in this scenario, if there if there are losers in in the real world, not in terms of the class debate, but would be the Yanomamo or the Yanomami, right? Uh, they're the ones who had the least voice, the least say in what happened, and were the most impacted by the decisions being made by outsiders, by anthropologists, journalists, government officials, and so on. Um, but in terms of Shagnon and Tierney, what happened there is really sort of, uh, it, it seemed like a clashing of personalities. It seemed like, it seems like Shagnon kind of has a reputation, I don't know him, but from what I've heard, you know, he's got a reputation as being not the friendliest, not the easiest to get along with. And you could kind of get that vibe from him. So I think he made an easy target. He was easy. And he maybe did, you know, maybe he did bias his work some based on his own. I mean, I don't, I don't, I think that's a hard accusation to make and, and to back up that he had characterized them as fierce people because he had aggressive uh, tendencies in his personality. I don't know. But, um, but he does seem like he does seem like he would have been difficult to work with and very very arrogant. So uh, the fact that he might have made um, enemies or not friends in some places is not totally hard to believe. That being said, some of Tierney's ac accusations seemed really almost childish or or um, or unfounded, and I think that's why the AAA. Uh, ethics committee decided what they did, which was that we can't really prove, right? With the vaccines, you can't really prove that it was intentional, that there was um, malevolence there. Uh, the vaccine that he brought was standard issue at the time. Um, and the way that they administered it what was legitimate, it seems. Um, when he traded with them, when he gave them goods, uh, machetes and stuff like that, for um, in exchange for their their support of his research, well, that's also kind of a common practice. Or, and it certainly was then. And even still, when I worked in the Amazon, it wasn't when, when we'd go on focal follow hunts with men in the community, it was common for us to give them some um, bullets for their shotgun because it's like, well, you're, you're showing us how you hunt and you'd need this resource to do it. So it's not, it's not totally unheard of what he did. And I think, so... Some, I think when we do this debate, sometimes it's a little disappointed. You you want maybe the ethics committee to make a stricter or, or a firmer ruling. and um, But what could they do with the information that they had? It seemed like maybe it was more of a personal struggle or a personal clash between Shagnon and Tyranny. And I don't, I don't, actually, I don't, I don't think that Shagnon and Tyranny knew each other particularly well, to be honest. And that's the other, the other thing that kind of, I think Shagdan sort of relied on in terms of his defense was, who's this Tierney and why is he coming years later? You know, he's making a name for himself just by critiquing my work. And, and I think that also um, weakened some of, of how Tierney's accusations were viewed. But um, that being said, I'm, I'm, there's, no, there's, there's no winner or loser really in, this, in the debate sense, right? Um, I'm glad you guys went through the exercise. I hope that by going through this exercise, it gives you a better, uh, you know, it's a real life situation, what happened, and it gives you a better sense for how tricky things can be and how one side can see it, you know, you can see it completely differently from different sides. So that's it. That's my two cents. I, you know, it, it's just my opinion, and I'm sure you guys have, I hopefully you've, you've formed your opinions and understandings of it too. So thanks for doing it.